she's got the phone down there. So with that, um, she can uh, go ahead and uh, let me know if there's any things you guys would like to talk about. Other than that, I was basically just gonna look to go through and clean her hair up, but I thought I might as well go live while I'm doing it. Someone asked, or Jesse Loves Hair asked, will you be at DJ's? Will I be at DJ's? I will uh, um, see him sometime, but it's not actually, uh, it's not a geezer trip, it's more of a, um, it's a multiple birthday family trip, or multiple birthday, multiple birthday slash kind of family trip of sorts, um, starting in uh, Santa Monica area and uh, going for a friend's birthday party up there. And then uh, we'll travel down California. Missy and I like to do a little random stain in California throughout the summertime. And uh, so we'll travel down and uh, stay likely Long Beach on Saturday and then uh, um, over to San Diego on Sunday for her dad's birthday. And then from there, stay there until uh, Wednesday. So good little trip and so yes, hopefully I will get a chance to see Gizu, in case it's always nice to see my friend. But yeah, I've never really done a family trip before, to be honest with you guys. Like, uh, I went on vacation with my, my own family, I guess, when I was a young kid. Um, but that was uh, kind of boring, to be honest with you. We would travel by car <laughs> and Traveled by car to Florida once, and traveled by car to California once from Michigan both times. Um, so quite a distance, really. It wasn't really the most pleasant experience. But yeah, doing that. Anyone else have any fun plans for the weekend? Someone asked, where are you from? I am from Greenville, Michigan, is where I was born and raised. And uh, I now currently live in Las Vegas. And I've lived in Las Vegas since 1999. Where are you from, who asked? So far, I'm seeing people from New York and Argentina. Someone just said hello from Minnesota, Vegas bound in the coming year. I need a hairstylist and you do great work. Thank work. you very much. I'd be very happy to put my heart and heart into your hair as well. Jenny says I'm from Michigan too. Awesome. We're at Michigan, Jenny. Baltimore. New Baltimore? New Maryland? Baltimore? Must be New Maryland. It's in New Memphis. It's Maryland, Baltimore. Not New Maryland. I don't know about this new. I don't know. Does your girlfriend do hair too? She does not. She does not. She does permanent makeup. Um, so she does uh, eyebrows and lips and freckles and all those kind of fun so she still works with uh, this area, but she's on this area. I'm on this area. <laughs> Someone asked, Fairy Elf Mullet? Yes, that's definitely what I've been working with a lot lately. And yes, it's another version of such. Yeah, the uh, elf ears are a major component, and I always have the uh, 
little tendrils down through here. Those different things are elements of this fairy elf mill that's pretty consistent for me. Turn this way for me, just so you can see that there. What products are you using these days? You know, um, I have been liking some different uh, um, stuff that I can't get, I can't seem to find lately, which is a, a little struggle. But uh, um, I think it's a Mizani or something like that. Mizani the foam. I think it's Mizani or Mizuni, something like that. Um, been liking them a lot. And uh, right now, because I couldn't get any of that, I've been working with uh, a variety, two other things, either this uh, Waydad's uh, Curl Cream that I've been liking a lot, truly for all, all my clients. Even though it's a curl cream, whether I go curly or straight, it's great. And then, uh, um, um, and or uh, Design Essentials foam, that's what I'm missing. I've been working with at home, actually. Is Design Essentials film, which I am uh, in a big liking and fan of them as a company all around. They were very nice to me a couple years ago and had me into uh, Atlanta and uh, had me teach 150 of their educators, which was a very awesome compliment and a nice honor and then they gave me an awesome bag later that was this awesome like a uh, sequin bag sequin duffel bag i was already wanting a duffel bag in my life and i was into sequins at the time too so and then they gave me an awesome sequin duffel bag so extra big love to design essentials thank you that asked shears the shears are shark fin shears I'm working with uh, my, uh, oops, sorry. I'm working with my, uh, um, shoot, why am I drawing a blank all of a sudden? Um, Monarchs, sorry. I was drawing a blank on what these, what the name of them were. Um, they're Monarch Scissors, Shark Fin. Um, and that said, um, uh, I do have a little um, relationship established with them. Um, if you're interested um, in my, uh, in my bio, in my link tree, you can go through and, uh, you can go through and, there's one that says buy one, get three free, and that's with Sharkman basically. Um, so if you're interested, you can get up with that. Jenny says, how long does a haircut usually take you? Uh, um, that's really uh, depending on so many things. I, uh, I am a slow hairdresser, Jenny, um, and hair cutter. Um, and uh, I would say I book out, whenever I book out for just a haircut only, I book out um, an hour and a half, so 90 minutes 
for that. And uh, generally, I can make that work just fine. But if I'm, uh, if it's you know more details, if I'm, uh, um, you know more chatty, whatever it is, um, if I'm trying to just really get even more like hyper focused into their head shape and to really try to get things to where it's really um, almost in a sense of uh, kind of corrective ishy hair cutting to where it's not really corrective, but I'm really trying to really get into the head shape a lot these days. So it just really, um, I don't know, creates a different uh, vision and focus a lot more. So because of that, sometimes um, I can be even slower and I'm also on the big focus these days of being small, slow, and in control. Um, as per, that's one of the things I teach in my one-on-ones a lot. And so it's uh, also turning into me being smaller, slower, and in, more in control of things and working with smaller sections with things. So um, I do have kind of a, you know, some, some haircuts can be very intricate for me and very, very small sectioned haircuts. Um, so yeah, I'm on an hour and a half sometimes Depending on the haircut, it may be, uh, it may easily be a two, two and a half hour, to be honest with you. Um, I don't, I go under the mindset that, uh, I'm this one. I go under the mindset that uh, I do not, uh, I do not rush for anyone necessarily. So since I don't rush for anyone, um, I'm not going to go through and uh, um, rush for anyone, basically. So I'm not going to hurry up with her to get to my next client. And my next client's gonna know I'm not gonna hurry up with her to get to her. And hence, I'm not gonna hurry up with the second client to get to the third client, all that kind of stuff. It's whatever time it takes, but I book an hour and a half. Yeah, right? Yeah. Pick it up a little bit sometimes. Definitely slow on that sometimes, as far as in technically doing things. But I also, from my mind, unfortunately, most of my clients are um, down with it as well is uh, I can also be a very quiet hairdresser, to be honest with you. I oftentimes uh, may not uh, communicate a whole lot during a haircut um, because I'm reading skull, I'm reading the results with the hair and the roots and so many different things. So since I'm reading the whole time so many things, I'm not able to really uh, sometimes maintain a tight listening mind. Um, so oftentimes because of that, um, since I can't hear something they've said, it's hard for me to maintain a, a communication with them and maintain a conversation sometimes. So I can be a very quiet hairdresser as well, to be honest with you. And or if the vibe is right, I can be super talkative. It really all depends. very, very, very comfortable with these days with very small, tiny, intricate kind of things. So that can take me some time sometimes, to be honest with you. Ted Hair Designer said, any salon suggestions in St. Augustine, Florida? My wife and I are moving the first of October. Oh, congratulations, buddy. That's awesome, St. Augustine. Um, I don't, but I would say contact Tomlinson Beauty, um, we used to, uh, they used to be a distributor for us, um, and uh, great people down there, and uh, it could be someone that could maybe align you, and I'll try to take a look at Instagram a little later, Ted, if you can maybe DM me, um, and I'll see if I can, uh, if I have knowledge of anyone that I don't even know that I know down there or anything. That's awesome, you guys are moving, Ted. Congratulations. Awesome. Someone's from Brazil. Hello. Oh, 
Paulo from Brazil. We are here in Las Vegas. Sunday, love to get to Brazil for sure. Actually, interesting enough, uh, I think if I remember right, um, like Brazil is my maybe like my like I have Las Vegas, like Mexico City, and then uh, Brazil as being like my third most uh, follows on on Instagram from or you know following from Instagram. So I technically. I guess have a decent uh, following in Brazil, kind of. possible client because this person I guess is moving to Vegas wants to know where your salon in relation to the strip is. Hmm. Um, my salon, the salon that I work at, it's called Level 10, um, which I don't actually say the name very often, but I just feel I'm like being respectful to my, to my, the owner of the salon, Vicky. Um, but um, yeah, and it is on uh, 215 and St. Rose. So relative to the strip, that's about um, 10 to 15 minutes at the most, um, east on the 215, and then right off the 215, it's right there, basically. Um, so it's convenient, it's right off the highway for the most part. Another person, hello from Brazil. Hello Brazil. I hope you guys are well and safe in Brazil. Who's that, sorry? Hi, Valerie. Hey, Val. What's up? Someone said, love this. Thank you. I love this, too. <laughs> she, she begs for, I won't say the word beg, but she kind of does, because only because I'm, um, I'm not always like, okay, let's get your hair now. Um, I, I have to be in all the moods and all those kind of things. And uh, um, yeah, since we're going away, definitely a must do mood. So I thought I'd go ahead and do it and uh, go live with you guys to kind of uh, mix it up a little bit to cross do. Did I put my arm in your way? I did there, didn't I? Let me see. Santi says, love this, sending you positive vibes only from Miami. Cheers, Santi. Thank you, buddy. Hope you've been well, pal. I hope, uh, I hope you've had some good practices and some good experiences since our one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, this live made my day. Oh, Thank so you. Hello from Mexico. You're the best. Thank you, Mexico. I'm guilty. I'm not the best at making uh, like a pre-planned, let's do a one-on-one, one -on -one, but not pre-planned, let's do a live kind of thing. I can be more spontaneous, so. Lacey Langhair asks, talk about where you get your info from. Like what makes you feel creative or where you pull inspiration from? Um, that could be a mixture of so many things, Lacey. Um, thanks for the question, Lacey. Uh, Music is one of the biggest influences for me overall. Always music is my first love. And uh, musicians and music is always something that pushes like feels in me. So um, that can always be something that helps to uh, influence my eye and my taste for things. Um, obviously Instagram, social media, other um, hairdressers that I look up to, very influential for me. Um, I'm always looking to me in a sense of uh, looking at uh, the present time, the past, and what I hope to do to 
influence into the future slash present time. So it's uh, you know something that worked historically. Obviously, can it's, it can work in a you know a time like today again? I feel so. Um, I grab a lot from the past, try to fit it into you know the present time for me, and uh, yeah, it depends on so many different things. I'm such a feeler on things too. So when I say feeler, it's uh, more of a mood thing. I guess I'm not like a feeler, like I'm constantly picking up the hair feeling, but I'm a mood kind of guy. Jenny would like to know, will you be at the Premier Orlando Hair Show in October? Uh, currently, no. Um, I don't think I'm going to be at that at all this year. Thanks for the question, Jenny. But my buddy DJ, I'm pretty sure I saw that DJ's going to be there. So DJ Muldoon will be there. Um, so that's cool. I definitely highly recommend checking out DJ. Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm actually just enjoying just chatting with you all. Thanks. It's nice. To be, to be honest with you guys, uh, the only time Missy and I ever seem to, like, get at each other as far as in, like, any form of, like, um, uh, discomforts in ourselves or any forms of, like, argumentative kind of things, the only time that ever happens is when I do her hair. Uh, so... I felt this would be a lot smarter. This way we can't fight. If we're in front of people, she'll not, she'll not fight with me. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, it's not that she fights with me. We both get kind of short. I take so long. I'm very slow. She's been in plenty of car accidents, so her body gets very sore. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Thank you, Jenny. That was very nice. You said I was pretty. I agree, Jenny. It is nice of you. Val said, now I miss my mullet. Missy, your hair already looks amazing. Thanks, Val. Thanks. We adore you, Val. Your hair sucks says, talk about the top section. Are we disconnected, convex, etc.? Okay. Um, the section, this top section was divided at the parietal ridge here. And then, yes, it is being disconnected as per um, here is the length below that was cut. I am taking that and technically um, I'm elevating it at noon which is parallel to the floor and ceiling in my dialogue, in my clock concept dialogue. Um, but in that being elevated here at noon, because of the shaping of the head here, technically it, will, it won't be mega weight buildup, but it is building up weight in here, yeah? So there is a slight little uh, weight buildup here, even though it's at noon because I'm dealing with the top area of the head. Um, as per front to back, um, I'm just pulling back to the previous section. So um, it's uh, like flat to slightly longer towards the front, nothing major. I am also, I guess I should mention this, choosing to 
stroke it um, as far as the way I'm choosing to cut it is the method of stroking, um, which the way I'm doing it is, uh, I would say definitely in your uh, um, modestly saying, this is definitely in the kind of a black diamond kind of style. If you're thinking of like, uh, if you were a uh, snowboarder or a downhill skier or anything of that manner, this is definitely like black level or black diamond level in the sense that uh, in the sense that I'm going through and stroking on wet hair. Um, I started stroking uh, in, say, 1998, 1999 area, um, and not until just about maybe two years ago that I started to feel comfortable and felt that I had enough control to stroke on wet hair. Wet hair is very soft, it's extremely slippery, um, and scissors are extremely sharp and stroking has a lot of movement to it as you can see what I mean I'm making kind of little movements here because it's such a small delicate amount of hair but there's there are movements to it overall so um, if you get that scissor in there too aggressively you can accidentally cut a lot of hair off and make it a lot chunkier than what you intended um, and is very slippery so there's so many different things that you could lose a lot of control with as well so um, again as I was saying not until just the last maybe two years did I feel that I gained enough control in my hands and in control of the technique of stroking that I felt that okay I can go through and uh, start to stroke on wet hair now Do you like new orders? Um, I do, but not as much as, like, not as much as everyone, I guess. Maybe I'm not, I wasn't quite that cool, I think, when I was, uh, when New Order was around as much when I was younger. I mean, I love New Order songs, um, but I didn't really have, like, oh, I'm a mega New Order fan or anything like that. Do you like New Order? I think I've seen them maybe maybe twice, I think. Um, DJ's always best to remember which ones I've seen sometimes or not because DJ and I have seen a lot of those different uh, ones like that together. drops in my head right now. Fat Fetty's Drop is a pretty cool um, band that I would just randomly recommend checking out. Let's see, I gotta do that right in front of you because this is, I'm adding to it and that's a little bit long right now. So I'm gonna get this first one here. There we go. It's funny, I was just thinking, the last time I, so this is the third cleanup for Missy since we did this for the uh, virtual live that we did actually. And um, the second time I went through and cleaned it up with a razor. And it's the first time I think that I actually gave like Missy like a full razor haircut. And uh, the sound and the feelings, she just loved it. <laughs> it was very, it made, reminded me of when I first experienced the razor haircut and that, that feeling of the hair getting uh, taken away by the razor. It's an interesting feel for sure. I loved it. And the sound. Oh, wants to know what we're getting into this weekend. 
we are going to California Val. We're getting out of town. We have um getting away from this heat. Yeah, exactly. And humidity. We have a friend's birthday in Santa Monica tomorrow. And then we have uh Missy's dad's birthday in San Diego on Sunday. So we're getting out of here and looked at the temperatures for California and there's not one day that mm -hmm. will be there that's going over 80 degrees. Beach life. Yeah. Yes, we've got our new bikinis and she's got new sunnies and all the things so we're ready to go. Just needs her little haircut. That's all. So as much as I thought I was on vacation. You're welcome. Yeah. Let me go my hair. Okay. Here we go. Just kidding. She says it's too hot here. Uh, someone said you two seem like a great couple. How did you two meet? Uh, kind of funny story, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> so, Miss C was a customer care manager for a hair care company that I owned or was partners with and uh, we met through that. So I had to order my products through her um, and so I got her, gosh this is annoying right there, sorry. So I got uh, um, my products through her and so then it was kind of funny, um, this guy Casey who technically introduced us where I was in Casey's office. He was like the warehouse manager. Yeah. And Casey says to me, well, first I you introduce me and I say, hi, Miss Eden. And I say, I guess I should probably get your number um, since I'm gonna be ordering products through you. So we exchange numbers and then uh, she leaves the room and then Casey, as soon as she leaves the room and says, uh, says, uh, um, back off, Irish, she's mine. And I'm like, bro, bro, <laughs> like, okay, she's yours. I wasn't saying or doing anything, man. I was not in fact his. No, she was certainly not, in fact, his, and I had asked him at that time, I said, oh, she's yours, huh? So how's your girlfriend, Casey? Um, because he actually had a girlfriend, but uh, Casey um, has always had a very sweet crush on Missy. He's very adorable, and uh, um, yeah, so that was technically the first go of things, and then uh, um, we uh, would be in these meetings together, and I could tell that she was kind of checking me out a little bit during the meetings, so then... Uh, after one of the meetings we had during the daytime, um, I decided to text her up a little bit more to a later time than what I would normally to order product. And she definitely caught on to that real quick. And uh, <laughs> we've uh, been uh, comfortably, comfortably hanging out and all those kind of fun things. <laughs> for it's, four years. Yeah, for four years now. We've just been hanging out for four years, yeah. that's all. Yeah. Basically, what's wrong with that? Nothing, I love it. Yeah, good. Tell them where you took me for our first date. Um, where I took you for our first date was uh, a Bush concert. And then what happened for our one year anniversary? So it was June 2nd was our first date and we went to go see the band Bush. And then, and that was my first time seeing them and I always liked them. Um, and then uh, somehow, randomly, the next year, um, on June 2nd, Bush was playing in Las Vegas again. So we got to see them for our one year anniversary, which was pretty random and strange. Thanks, Gavin Rosdale. Yeah, right? This reminds her that she never wants to come down from this cloud. You know, it's <laughs> taken her all this time to find out what she needs. Just kidding. Get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs>
Valerie, if you're still there, what do you get into this weekend? She is still there. What do you get into this? Okay, <laughs> she is still there. What do you get into this weekend, Valerie? So she says it's Jerry's 30th birthday, so nice. she actually took time off, if you can believe oh, it. I'm very happy to hear that, Valerie. You deserve that so much. You need that so much. Happy birthday to Jerry, too. Yeah, happy birthday. That's great. Are they getting out of town for this day? Just shit. No, what are you guys doing for his birthday? <laughs> Your hair sucks as preference of guarded or straight for straight blade razor. Um, I am very afraid, to be honest with you, of the uh, straight blade razor. Um, I'm not a fan of cutting myself at all. And I mean, I know I still can cut myself with this razor, but it's a pretty slim chance. Um, and I kind of feel like, uh, I kind of feel like I'm a little bit like late to the game in the sense of deciding at uh, this age and time in my career to go ahead and pull up the straight razor. Um, I don't, uh, I don't have the, energy in my head to learn that new curve, I guess, and to possibly cut myself multiple times um, to learn it. So, um, so yeah, I am a feather razor kind of guy. I do like the guard in there. Um, I understand f I saw someone who was it, Marina maybe? Um, I saw that uh, feather razors come in with a less guarded blade, which I'm really excited about that, because um, I'm excited to try a little less um, guard on there. I think that would be fun to work with. Tony Cola says, looking great, Iron Missy Man. Right back at you, buddy. Thanks for stopping by for a second. Hope you've been well, pal. And then Val wants to know, who cuts your hair, Ira? Amber? Um, she has before. Um, Amber has... Um, Amber has... Yeah, um, lately, to be honest with you, it's been, my, it's been myself the last couple haircuts, I think, at least, um, which is uh, good and bad, to be honest with you. Um, sometimes it works great, sometimes it, uh, it's a little embarrassing.
impressive though, I'll say, the people that do say, like I can think of uh, my friend Amber Harland, my, my sister, quote unquote, my named sister. She uh, um, is a very strong scissor hair cutter and as per the friendships and relationships with uh, Brie, who is a goodbye horse girl um, on social media, um, Brie went through and uh, installed her ways of razoring, straight razoring into Amber. And Amber has been loving straight razors, so it's cool to see people who do take that leap. Um, I'm always impressed with them when they do it, especially if they commit to it, like I've seen Amber be doing lately, so. I like it when people do. I'm just uh, not there right now. Someone said, I have wavy curly hair. I flat iron it for a straight look. Finding a good stylist who knows how to manage it is gold. I, I can agree with that statement, I think. Um, it's not always easy to, at least I'm finding out from people that it's not always easy to uh, find someone that's comfortable with hair that has mixed um, textures in it, whether it be wavy, straight, curly, all those kind of things. Not everyone has their comforts into those mm. kind of things. You lacking? It's amazing. I love it. Are we done? Nope, nope, not yet. <laughs> I love it right now. Almost. Um, I've been pretty good lately, to no, be honest with you. Banned. No, I'm not banned from anything, <laughs> but uh, um, I've been very good, and I haven't, uh, I haven't bought any. Have I? Oh, I don't think I bought any in a, in a minute. It's been uh, no. It's been no. Uh, it's been a while. It's been actually. a good long time. Yeah, I've been pretty good. The addiction of it's stopped. So now it's just a matter of maintaining and keeping these things alive. Keeping the plant babies alive. Yeah. <laughs> And he does good. I do, I do all right. You do great. I do all right. <laughs> let's see, let's see. It's like you fell just a little bit like this. How long's it been? Does it show how long it's been right now? No. You know, I'm just so casually. Going I feel like you're coming up on an hour though. It feels like it too. I'm thinking it must be getting close. So if it does, to be honest with you, I'll probably still put it back on. I'm not really bothered. If it stops itself, we'll probably just restart ourselves. We'll see. Mm -hmm. 
Walker. Says you asked about plans. Well, at the end of the month, I'm going to a Ren Fair in Wisconsin, and I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. I've never been to a Renaissance. I haven't either, but I feel like I. Do you feel I'm, you would enjoy it? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know actually. I don't know either. I don't know if I have any business I don't at a, a Ren Fair. I don't think I do either. I don't think. Uh, um, do they hold dance parties? I, I mean, I don't. I don't know the answer to that question. I've not been there, but. Uh, um, yeah, I'm not sure, because you never know until you try something. Yeah, I'd be down to go. I'd check it out. I mean, I know a lot of, a lot of people I know love them, so... I feel like people that go to Renaissance fairs are, like, very tried and true to them. Like, they always, I don't know, I feel like they're, like, they participate in the dress-up and stuff. Yeah, and I don't know if I'm really down with that, <laughs> to be honest with you. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. You don't want to be a, a wench? Um, you make a good one. Thank you. Um, welcome. I don't know that I necessarily don't want to be one, but uh, I don't know that, uh, I don't know. It comes down to it. Um, like, you know, I'm good with Halloween and stuff like that. Halloween's cool, but to be honest with you, I'm pretty. I'm good with being me for the most part, I guess. I don't feel I have like a lot of like, oh, I wish I was something else or I would like to. And I like playing dress up. Who do you do this with? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so I'm like, huh? So what? You I just do? remember, wait, I just remember like being a kid and always like playing dress up. Oh. Turn yourself into different characters. That's how I started loving makeup, is I would turn myself into different characters. So I liked to dress up. So okay. I would probably like to dress up as something in a Renaissance fair. I, I you could know. be down with it. Okay. I, could, I could be down. Cool. As long as it's like good weather though. <laughs> I don't want to go to a renaissance fair and it's 200 degrees off. Um, Lulu Pie says that's a very cute name. Isn't it? Ira, do you do much dry cutting? I, you know, it's funny that you asked Lulu Pie. I used to be only a dry hair cutter um, from the years of like, I would say 2000 until like 2014, 15, I was almost exclusively only a dry hair cutter. Um, and then um, social media kind of changed my, my uh, taste and my mood a little bit. And I decided um, to get back into, get back into wet cutting like I did when I was younger. And uh, I felt that I had dry cut enough and I felt that uh, um, I finally definitely feel that I got a good like grasp on it and a good comfort into itself so I felt that uh, I was in a position I could go ahead and get myself back into cutting wet hair and uh, no I'm really enjoying it <laughs> I just love hair to be honest with you either way give it make it wet make it dry um, I'm happy with it either way but there's definitely preferences for different things for sure How about you? Are you a dry hair cutter or a wet hair cutter? Someone asked again, where do you find your inspiration for haircuts? Um, all kinds of different things. As I mentioned earlier, um, with that, um, it can be social media, it can be past, the present, and the future. It can be music and musicians and concerts. It can be the youth. Um, it can be, it can be, um, it can be just different things that I've gone through and done myself throughout the time period of my life. As for obviously, um, right now, um, you know, there's definitely a strong 90s, there's been for a while, a strong 90s um, flair and taste in the things. And I, I'm 45 years old, so um, the 90s were a pretty strong decade for me, truly. 
Um, so um, I'm definitely comfortable with all that kind of style. So some of that is just stuff of redoing and um, yeah, I, I really grab from all kinds of different things to be honest with you. How about you that asked that question? What, uh, what different things do you grab your inspiration from? Sucks wants to know what you're doing in this section. In this section, I'm pulling everything, um, all sections just going straight up and down. They're primary lines basically, going straight up and down, vertical sections. And uh, <coughs> so no pine, just straight up and down. And then uh, um, also, as you can see, it's being held out straight out at, uh, at noon, basically parallel to floor and ceiling. And then also cut very square there too. Um, as to and that's starting right at the O bone here, so it's building right off of that. So that way she gets uh, she gets it kind of collapsed and tighter at that sh at the widest area, so that supports and gives a good uh, head shape. This back area. Jenny says you inspire me. Thanks, Jenny. I appreciate that. You're sweet. slid way further over to the side from my last section. I'm like, where the heck is the guide at? I know you're here. There we go. Yeah, so if you're just getting here, just let you know, I'm not doing this for any form of uh, education to be honest with you. It's just to uh, come on here, come on to Instagram to get onto live. I'm not uh, done it for a while. And uh, as far as at least on my own page and everything. So I thought I'd come on and uh, say hi to you all. And uh, simply Missy needed a little cleanup before we left for our vacation weekend. So decided instead of just cutting it quiet, just the two of us. Might as well go live. That way she can't uh, yell at me during the haircut. Just, is, just kidding. This is really great. This is really looking great. The light green ends are really cool. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad Told you think you so. <laughs> <laughs> Someone says hi. Who's this? Cesar De Castro. Lulu says, I do like dry cutting. Sometimes when I cut wet, I feel like I have a hard time seeing the shape. How would you address that? Um, really, you have to, it's a good question. Um, I, you have to really become aware of all the rules, basically, I think. If you become very aware of the head shape, um, and then uh, um, be small, slow, and in control. So don't spread your eye too far along the head. There's curves and there's movements all throughout this head shape. So if you bring your eye too far away from those things and, and kind of pass by them, you'll miss out on some opportunities or shapes that you could create and having ownership and understanding of control things as you're going through. Um, so overall, I would say, um, really try to figure out your own, not your own set of rules, but different ones that you um, work off of and uh, um, exercise those overall, truly. Vicky's on. Who's on? Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Thank you for, I've not got to say to you yet, Vicky, thank you very much for that uh, cup you, the the uh, um, mug, I don't know, is it a mug? Is that how I say that? It's 
it's like a yeah, like a traveling mug. Yes, a thank you for that. Thank you. It's very cute. I appreciate it. And what did you think about the wrapping? Oh, there was no really wrapping on it. No, there was no wrapping. Oh, that's right. You didn't get the wrapping paper. Yes. One. Yeah. You 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 let me know about that. Vicky says, "Yeah, you're getting a haircut. I'm getting a haircut, Vicky." And Veronica Beckman asked, I think she's trying to ask this, do you like to do razor cuts? Um, yes and no. Yes and no overall. Um, I love when I'm feeling like doing a razor cut, but I'm not always like, I'm not the guy that's like, oh, I'm going to razor cut everyone, I guess. So I like them, but there's kind of like time and place for them, for me overall at least. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so all about tiny place for me. Love you, Val. That is amazing. <laughs> I love Pineapple Express. <laughs> is that what she's smoking right now? It's Pineapple Express? No, it's from the movie. Oh, Pineapple it's from Express. the movie. My bad. My bad. Oh. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> Thank you, haircut Diddy. Because I don't know where geography looks like you posted a flag and I'm not sure this one. Where's the flag? Is it a flag? I can't tell. Yes, I believe that is. Um, you see that better? I can't see it so small. Is that Thing you do like that is so awesome to watch. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, again, as I, someone asked me earlier if I was a dry hair cutter, originally I would only really put that out as a dry cutting technique, to be honest with you, um, as per it's, uh, it can be very complicated to do on wet hair because it's very slippery, very soft, all the things basically. So as I mentioned earlier, I've only really been doing this technique on wet hair now for about the last two or three years. But yet the technique I've been doing for a good um, 17, 18 years at least. Mandy says yes. Thank you, Melinda, Mandy. Melinda says hi. And then Mary Beth Berry says hi from Florida. What up, Mary Beth? Long time no see. Hope you've been well. I'm pretty sure it's Mary Beth that I'm thinking of, at least when I say that right now. So.
do you like clients sip on coffee during a cut? I feel like if you were to sip on coffee right now, it would spill on your lap. <laughs> um, I, I do though. Like if a client brings coffee, by all means, like I will take a break to let them have a sip. It's coffee. Let them enjoy their coffee. If they came with coffee, they probably need their coffee. So um, yes, I most definitely let clients sip on coffee. Let them sip on coffee. I let them cross their legs. Um, I don't bust their balls when they show up late. Uh, lots of things, I guess, that I'm pretty easy on compared to some hairdressers, I know for sure. To each their own. We all have our, our boundaries and our limits. Melinda says, I would hope to see representing legit hair for Vegas. Well, I appreciate that, Melinda. Who, which Melinda is this? Melinda Casanova. Casanova hair. Thank you, Melinda. Very sweet of you. Haircut Diddy says, I'm a fan of your cuts. Thank you, thank you. They're a fan of you right back. Haircut Diddy. See if, if the time permits, at least. Um, Magic East with some leather work. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse you and diffuse her. That is all right here for you guys. Mandy says, "Massive fan of these shaped cuts." Thank you, Ma Mandy. I too have a. Uh, it's definitely where my um, attention or attraction of eye has been at, um, and I get obsessed, and I'm kind of obsessed with this kind of look right now. To be honest with you, fortunately, uh, people have been responding to well with it, and I'm a big fan of it. They get skinnier though, didn't they? Right? Yeah, definitely skinny. Thank you. Yeah. I don't even know why, because it that literally never sees any like heat. Yeah, I don't know. It's so good. It's definitely skinny though. Oh, Melissa says, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh uh um, yes, I love much more wash and go, super simple, super uh, dude, stoner friendly hair. That is very uh, minimal for sure. I don't, uh, I'm not paid by any product line, therefore, I don't necessarily endorse. Any product line, anything to that manner. Um, but I will say again, big thanks to Design Essentials. I appreciate you. Thank you. Amber says, I just called. <laughs> we saw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's all, why didn't you answer? <laughs> Have you ever been to Brazil? Not yet, not yet. Someday, it's definitely in my, it's a, it's a goal country for me for sure. It's definitely one of the ones that I do want to get to. She's like, hello. <laughs> uh, Naja Eastwood would like to know, do you have a name for this cut or how would you describe this cut when proposing to a client or if a client were to request this? Um, it'd be interesting, I think, if a client were to request it overall, that, that I not necessarily experienced necessarily like a direct like client being like, I want something that's like this haircut. And technically, the very first one I did was from a little bit of a described kind of scenario where we uh, wanted to uh, um, really get married, open up her ears to get the elf ears in there. So it was all about the elf ear. Um, so when I was really first doing this, it was definitely just really elf ear focused. And that's the main aspect of it. Bottom line, it's a mullet. So that would be the first word that I would highly recommend using um, because uh, it's also 
to me, at least, the fact that you're cutting that hair up around the ear, that makes it a pretty uh, strong disconnection and a pretty like strong contrast from short to longs. So it is definitely mullet -y, yeah? So I don't shy away and say, like, I would not use the word, like, I wouldn't use the word shag or anything like that, uh, because this to me is nothing in the shag world. Um, this is definitely much more shorter, much more mullet world, basically. Um, so um, I definitely would utilize the word mullet. Myself, myself, I call this a fairy elf mullet. And uh, to me, and the ones that I call that fairy elf mullet, I'm exposing the ears, working those elf ears into place, and then uh, uh, generally having a little bit more like a kind of vampire bang, overall soft little vampy bang kind of feel. And uh, soft vampy bang feel, and uh, definitely exposed ears. Those are the different things that I for sure have in my little pixie, not pixie, my little fairy elf mullet. Melinda says, my dog hears Ira and keeps barking. <laughs> it's uh, maybe good or bad, I'm not sure. Let me see, let me see the diffuser. My Dyson blow dryer um, on a medium blow and a, I'm sorry, a low blow, a low blow and like a medium heat setting. Yeah. I like, I like like this to where there's a, um, a nice light kind of a blow onto itself where I'm not getting, I'm not getting aggressive forcing into, into the roots anything and I'm able to get them get the hair get the diffuser into the hair at the scalp and sit there for a little bit before it gets too hot on our scalp. I also like to work with a chopstick. I work with a chopstick when I diffuse curly hair as opposed to get my hands in it especially while the hair is wet because of the fact that uh, hair and skin are both made from keratin. Wet hair is very attracted to keratin and to the skin keratin types. So um, if you're getting your hands into that wet hair as you're diffusing it, you will find the hair becoming a lot fuzzier because the hair is attracted to the skin, so it'll separate from the hairs and go chasing after the skin of your fingers. So I do not put my fingers in the hair too much. I use a chopstick so that way it stays cleaner. He says, ooh, I like the chopstick. Great idea. Thank you. I guess I'm not to do it now. And another nice thing with the chopstick that's nice uh, is that I can get in there and lift it up the scalp and get a little volume in there. Very thoughtful approaches to hair. I try. I'm in, in deep thought a lot. And then Melinda chimed in and said, he's a, he's a genius. You're very sweet, Melinda. I don't, I don't know so much about that, but I, uh, I, I like what I do. I love what I do, truly. And uh, um, fortunately, Others have been very polite to what I do as well. Did I poke you? <laughs> yeah, I did. Sorry.
What's that? I love this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brazil. Brazil. Who does your hair? Um, technically, I would say oh, who does my hair is this girl Kate. Kate. Uh, um, I don't know what her exact thing is on Instagram. Kate in in the anyway. Kate does my hair as per this stuff because this stuff here is grows out of my head. This top stuff up here does not actually grow out of my head. So I have one of those uh, thud rugs on the top area, and then this stuff up here um, is all me. And I, uh, and for the most part, it's been me cutting my hair for the last couple of years. Do you think the Dyson dryer is worth the money? A hundred percent. I think. It's great for me. Um, I think they're a solid company. Um, I think they great, build great tools. And uh, if you're, are you a hairdresser or are you a consumer? Like are you a hairdresser or like a client type of person? That's asking that question. I, to go on that basically I think that uh, I think that uh, this this one is great for hairdressers, and uh, I do have some clients that own this one as well. Um, but I think it's great for hairdressers. I think the the other one that's a little yeah. bit more expensive actually is a little bit okay. So it's great for hairdressers. I think from clients, I refer them to that other one actually, as in the other Dyson. What's that? I don't know if you saw, I was talking about you earlier, sister, how cool you are for getting into straight razor. So I call her later, love you. Will do. Ooh, hi, says, looks great, thanks for sharing. Our pleasure. Someone else says, stunning. Thank you. It looks superb. You're very sweet, thank you. I definitely, anyone that uh, happened to be here from the beginning that's still here, I definitely very much appreciate that. I know so, so it's a Friday night and uh, people have things going on in their lives, so those kind Thursday. of things. Oh, my bad, it's Thursday. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was thinking it was Friday already. It's a Thursday night, so so I'm not even thanking you anymore. It's a Thursday night, what are you doing? Someone, I'm or, just kidding. Melinda said, well as sister approved. What's this, sorry? Well as sister approved. Oh, thanks. Josh says, sit, homie. Miss you, bro. Jenny says, nothing better than watching you. Thank you. Is it Josh from uh, Josh, Portland? It's Josh Vega. 
Just figure, yeah, ah, uh, just from Orlando or from Port, from uh, Florida. I miss you too, buddy. Nice job on those big, huge fish you've been catching lately. And no fighting. Yes, we have not fought yet. We haven't taken pictures yet, though, so That's, who knows about that? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Whoa, what is. The Amber says she can't leave. Oh, yeah, I was stroking. I'm like, what is that? Like, it's all like. It looked like there was like. Gum. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Your hair color and those random pieces from stroking. It was very strange looking. Because okay. nice, Ira. Love the natural texture. I put my phone down. I was yeah, I see it. it. It's hurting my hand. It's okay. I'm bothered. Some people like looking like little aliens and having kind of the whites of this, the skin popping out. I just left everything very kind of loose in here. I'm gonna just to detail these things a little bit more because I really like them kind of how they're kind of gapping out there. Why don't you cut it out? No, I don't want to cut them out. That's too much of a commitment. No, I can't do that anytime. This is just an option. Nice little option, I think. Melinda says, love your passion for hair, Anna. I do love this That's game, Melinda. Thank you. Okay, so. I will respectfully do a little slow turn for you guys. Here's a profile. So you can see just that shape as far as that kind of a smoothness in through here. When I say smoothness, kind of the uh, um, no heavy weight lines, anything like that, but a good buildup of a shape through here. Um, and then just clean up her length. And uh, yeah, again, this wasn't meant to be educational. This is meant to be just cut some hair and you guys happen to be here while I'm cutting some hair and communicate with you guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I appreciate you all. Thank you, Missy. Thanks, and, babe. Uh, check you all later. Bye-bye.